Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your weekly love forecast horoscope. And this is going to be for February 15th to the 21st. I wanna thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. All right, let's change up camera views here. So first we're going to be looking at your, uh, your day to day your love interest feelings, your blocks, delays, and challenges, and the overall outcome in the time period is going to be for February 15th to the 21st. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's gonna happen my Aries romantic love life February 15th to the 21st? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to, to see. All right, so let's check this out. So it's going to be, all right, so we're gonna be February 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, one. Well, this is going to be your love interest feelings, whoever this is for you. Block Schleys and Challenges, and then the overall outcome here. Okay, so let's look at the bottom of the deck. So there is somebody here, Aries, that wants to invest time in this connection with the Seven of Pentacles energy. Okay, let's see what that's about. So the blockage obstacle is this uh, burden and responsibility. So someone is like, wow, I, I have so much stuff I have to get done. Um, you know, a, thing, a lot of things are weighing heavy on me. So. There's a person that's really concerned about getting some stuff done, uh, dealing with their responsibility here with the um, with the Ten of Wands energy. Let's also move this over here as well. Put this deck on top of here. Get some more room over here. <laughs> okay, I'll put that on there. Okay, so um, also what I'm feeling is with your romantic love life, I feel like you guys are ready for a situation where um, the person is going to bring some type of value, some kind of worth for you. Um, that's also what I feel like. I feel like you guys are leveling up. And interesting. So the first day here on the 15th, there's something about this house, this home. So four wands, usually I see this as a house, a home, a real estate. Okay, so something about this house or home. So it seems like someone's trying to approach you. If you look at the situation, it looks like someone's trying to approach you and give you some kind of gift. You almost seem like, oh my God, wow. Okay, so you're at this house, this home, and it's like someone's trying to approach you. I feel like you may not uh, be completely aware of this person's motives around the situation. Okay, um, there seems to be something about this house, this home, this real estate situation. Okay, so let's see what that's about. What's going to happen to my Aries romantic love life February 15th to the 21st? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So yes, I'm seeing clouds. So definitely there's something about the situation that's kind of confusing you. You're not exactly clear on it with the clouds coming out. Okay. Yeah, there's a cautiousness here with defensiveness energy about it. Let's keep going. What's going to happen with Aries Romantic Love Life February 15th to the 21st? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, we see the Ice Queen. Yeah, there's a lack of discernment. Okay. Um, there's a coldness or a lack of discernment around the situation when it comes to this person at this house, this home, or at this real estate here, or this building. Um, okay, let's keep going. What's gonna happen my Aries romantic love life February 15th to the 21st? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Yeah, because there's something about some kind of work or repeating patterns here. So somebody at work, somebody's working, Is somebody working on your house, Aries. Okay, um, let's keep going. 
Emperor, yeah, there's something about a work situation. Emperor can show a boss, work, routine. Okay, so the next card down is uh, sister, daughter, friend. Yeah, there's somebody is trying to court you. Okay, there's a courting person here. And uh, yeah, you've unlocked a situation here. There's somebody who wants to figure out how to, uh, to unlock the situation, get together. Feels like there's a perfect match. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so someone is on the 17th. There's someone who is feeling very heartbroken and sad here with the Three of Swords energy. And it looks like they want loyalty and devotion here. Let's go further. And there's concerns that you're going to free yourself from a situation, that you're distancing yourself from them. Uh, and there is someone who has a, a karmic relationship and there it looks like they're wanting to leave that karmic relationship because they're falling in love with you. Okay. That's interesting. So there's some kind of repeating pattern. Someone feels like there's a sabotaging going on here. There's a lack of discernment with this person who wants to court this other person. And we see that there's a person who's trying to distance themselves or uh, pull away because possibly of a karmic relationship here, uh, which is causing some heartache and sadness. Okay, let's keep going here. Let's keep going. Hmm, interesting so far. So there's marriage or something involved with this situation here on the 18th. And the timing is aligning. We see that uh, things are uh, starting to align in your favor. There's something about the timing. There's a divine timing here around the situation. And there could be involving children here or a project or a new beginning, fresh start or a playful energy. Yeah, there's a sense of self-indulgence here. So it's like this commitment to engage your marriage and something traditional. And we see the timing is right. And we see there's a want for children or something about bringing families together. And someone who is indulging in this feels like there's a sense of self-worth, sense of appreciation. Okay. So don't worry, I'm going to bring it all together. Um, if you guys, if the day to day is confusing at all, just stick with me till the end. I'm going to also talk about your love interest feelings and more into the blocks, delays, and challenges in the overall outcome. And again, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, it really helps you when you guys do um, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. Okay, so the 10 of cups energy is coming out so you guys are going to have a long-term happiness or we're going to be very happy on the 19th let's we'll see what that's about okay so that's interesting but something about this happiness seems to be like a little bit sly or slick in a way someone's doing something sly or slick Ooh, okay because uh there's some passionate exercises around this situation in a slick sly way okay <laughs> Okay, uh, and it's resulting from this phone call that you're going to receive. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, this should be an interesting day that day. <laughs> okay, let's keep going here. Let's keep going. All right. So there's some repeating patterns here, and someone's like, you have the key to my heart. But there's this karmic relationship and some self-indulgence in this uh, phone call, this communication is going to take place, uh, and this discussion about this passionate stuff and long-term happiness, Ten of Cups energy. Okay, and then on the 20th here, let's take a look here. Okay, so Six of Pentacles can represent, it's like the gift card, right? It's about giving, receiving, okay? So something about giving. So someone wants to give you some kind of gift, something of value, something of worth here on the 20th. Okay, what's that about? Okay, so there's something that's going to be a destiny, some kind of uh, divine timing here again. Wow, you guys have a lot of like these spiritual oriented cards this week. What's that about? Yeah, this person really wants to bring something to light about the fact that they feel like there's something that's destined around this connection. Hmm. So it looks like you may find out about this through this phone call, this expressing of love. Looks like you're going to find something out that's very revealing this week about this destiny, about the sense of divine timing, that this wasn't a coincidence, that, you know, this connection is very divine and destined to be together. 
um, even though there seems to be a lot of complexities around this situation. Okay, uh, let's keep going. So it looks like by the end of the week here on the 21st, you guys are going to make some type of decision. And it seems like it's going to be based on um, spiritual values or your intuition here. Um, let's see what that's about. Yeah, when it comes to family and long term. And uh, it looks like you will rekindle a situation with someone here. Uh, and that's what the decision is going to be about as well. Okay, so, so it seems like something was uh, sabotaging your romantic love life, but it seems like whatever door was locked now is open. Uh, when it came to this karmic relationship, it seems like there there's going to be a situation where you're going to find out that this person's like, I am moving towards you. Okay, so they're choosing you. Okay, and uh, there's going to be some self-indulgence and a love phone call, which is going to bring some things to light that you didn't know about. Okay, it's going to be some truths are going to be revealed about how they feel that there is something destined about this connection. And uh, there's going to be some rekindling of a connection here. Okay, so, so it looks like you started out with like a lack of discernment around a situation where someone was trying to court you and you kind of distanced yourself from the situation. Uh, there could be family and children or uh, like a, an energy around that or uh, uh, something about that situation here. But it seems like there's going to be this lots of chemistry, passion with somebody and um, potentially a passionate situation arriving here and um, an understanding that, that yes, we are destined to be together and I want to uh, have a family with you or blend our families together here. Okay, so let's bring it together so far. So there's a cautious energy because of a sister, daughter, infringing party, okay? And we see there's loyalty and devotion because the timing is right. But it's like with the, the cat card, it's going to be some sly slick energy going on. Um, because uh, someone's like, um, they were realizing they were foolish about a situation because there's a realization that there is a divine connection, a spiritual connection. Okay, so something about this house, this home situation, this marriage, and a someone who's going to make a solid move here with the Emperor card energy. Because of this heartache and sadness of our marriage, there is a want to have a long-term happy energy ten of cups so it's like there's a focus on this long-term happiness and uh someone's going to uh, want to bring things into balance or give to the situation is going to be very giving or wants to make sure that there's going to be an equal give and take in this this long-term happiness so a decision will have to be made by the end of the week okay so moving forward here Let's take a look at your love interest feelings. So your love interest is coming out as the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Sun card energy. So it looks to me like there's a very deep love with this person for you, and it does look like this person wants to communicate and act fast and put energy into making you happy with the Sun card energy. Your person feels like they want to gain some kind of knowledge because they are in a state of despair you see that they're in like a state of despair about the situation and they're concerned about an ending of this connection your person watches you notices you reminisces here about okay this passionate stuff here with you and them and they feel like there has been a lot of stuff that's been like outdated thinking so they keep replaying that your person feels like there is limited um potential here because it's something to do with the money and finance situation. And uh, they do feel that you're their soulmate. Okay. Or maybe even want a relationship. Okay. Because it's like they want to gain knowledge and end this despair. Right. Um, so, and they could also be watching you from afar. Because it seems like there's the debate going on about love and emotions. And uh, communicating that to you to uh, bring a sense of happiness and joyful energy. So let's see uh, what's going on with this blockage here. We got the Ten of Wands energy. So burdens and responsibility is part of the blockage this week. Yeah, we see power move, boss, landlord, okay? And we see a relationship 
and we see uh, some kind of karmic situation here that's part of the blockage this week. Okay, let's move this out of the way and let's take a look at the overall outcome. Okay, overall outcome. So Four of Pentacles shows me that someone Aries wants to hold on to you for a short success, okay? They want to hold on to you. Uh, they don't want to let you go. So in, they're going to do this in a sly, slick way. They could also be watching you from afar, because let's just clear this up. Page of Swords is not the Spying card. Seven of Swords is the Spying card, okay? So you can see, what is this person doing in this card? They're spying, they're spying on the other person, okay? <laughs> so there's sly, slick energy going on to hold on to you for a short success, okay? And it looks like you are going to fulfill your desires this week. You're going to get exactly what you've wished for and wanted. Okay. Now let's keep going. So it looks like you may receive a gift this week. And there may be some giving of some kind of money or finance or something of value, which is going to bring you very uh, happy energy here. You're going to be celebrating. Um, it does look like there is some concerns about an open relationship or a lack of commitment or something casual about the situation. And there is somebody here that you're dealing with that you feel is a destiny, uh, someone from the past life here. And it looks like to me that um, there is this uh, person who is far away or distant. So it looks like to me this week, there is a person that wants to hold on to you for a short success. And it's like giving to this connection that there is still like, uh, obviously because we, we know that there's a karmic situation or a complex situation to this. So it's being done in a slice like a manner. You're going to find something out. Something's going to be revealed to you about the fact that there is an awareness that there's a destiny here. This is going to fulfill your desires because you guys have been feeling this intuitively for a long time. But now you finally get the clarity and the answers this week about it. It makes you very happy. Um, it does look like uh, there is this long distance situation going on between you and this person. Okay, so we see there is a form of control that's going to happen. And we see something about work and finance. And we see something about you coming together with this past love situation. Okay, going further. Yep. Something about money, finance, the stability, and it looks like because of the situation, you're going to overcome obstacles and blockages. Because what did we see as the blockage this week? It was burdens and responsibility was part of the blockage in your romantic love life. But it looks like with this money and finance situation, you're going to overcome the burdens and blockages there around the situation. And you will ascend and overcome any obstacles and blockages, and you will have this conversation with this person. It looks like you will find out some stuff in this conversation that is going to fulfill your wishes and your desires. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice? So basically you're finding out this week that this is, this person's very much aware that there is a destiny around this connection and very much aware that they need to take steps to uh, change that. And there, there's going to be a discussion about how to do that. There's going to be some plans um, brought into play here. Okay, to hold on to you. Okay, so can I have some advice for my Aries when it comes to their romantic love life this week of February 15th to the 21st? The highest best good for the best possible offer for them, what they should do. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see here, Aries. Okay, so we see that you should focus on forgiveness and healing and spend some time thinking about this situation before you take a risk when it opens up, okay? There is an opportunity that will present itself and you'll be able to see the forest before the trees. And it does look like something's gonna come to light this week. So enjoy this victory. <laughs> okay. All right, Aries, you know I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below, all right? I love hearing from you guys in the comments below. I do read my comments, so if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. So if this resonates, you wanna claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me. And definitely, if you if this resonates with, with you guys, okay? I'd love to, to, to find out by com confirming with me by just putting destiny in the comments below. So I know which one of you guys, <laughs> when I read the comments, which one of you guys feels like that is the case for your situation as well and this resonates with you, all right? So let me know by putting destiny in the comments below 
and I'll be watching out for those comments. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another day or two. There's multi you guys to go check out right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.